your first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Brad Travis. Can't say that I've ever had lane cake. Uh, here's a look at this Shoals camera looking good down there. Uh, looking good across Wilson Lake. Almost looks like a black and white photo here with our night vision. 68 degrees on the sh uh, breeze camera network here. We've got a couple of showers and I think there's this boundary that's that's out here and it's going to be out there all afternoon and that's the focus for showers and storms. And there's a frontal boundary coming in from the east as well and that's going to reinforce this boundary. It's just kind of kind of oscillate back and forth and that's where the heaviest rain is going to be. Some areas uh, with this uh, system tomorrow and then again Friday night into Saturday could pick up over an inch, maybe inch and a half of rain with that uh, kind of focus here on the big picture here. There's nothing going on between Huntsville and St. Louis. Our weather's not coming in from the west tomorrow. It'll come in from the west Friday night and Saturday morning, but it's coming in from the east as an area of high pressure off the Atlantic, and it's going to send this easterly wave in our direction, and that sends slightly cooler temperatures. It's called the wedge, although it doesn't look as strong as it did just about 24 hours ago, but it's still going to be here, uh, represented by this backdoor cold front here. As we go through the morning hours, scattered showers will develop poor visibility east of I-65. Out west, you may have a pretty nice start to the day, some sunshine you'll warm up into the low 80s, but as you get farther east, stuck in the 60s here in much of DeKalb County and eastern uh, Jackson County, notice this boundary. It's just going to continue to light up into the afternoon and it's going to stall out a bit too. In the meantime, just might hit 71 in Fort Payne. I think that's optimistic. Typically, if the wedge gets strong enough with those stronger east winds, especially from Scottsboro to Fort Payne, you typically stay in the 60s. But meanwhile, a totally different environment out west along Highway 43 from Russellville up to Florence and down to Phil Campbell. It's in the low 80s. It's another really muggy day. And in between is where we have the focal point for those thunderstorms with very heavy rain. By uh, 6 o'clock in the evening, that boundary starts to back up. The showers and thunderstorms go away and eventually the boundary just breaks down and Friday turns out to be pretty nice. So tomorrow's kind of the peak of rain, at least over the next 36 to 48 hours. Friday, a slight chance of a passing shower, but a majority of your Friday will be dry. In fact, drier than it was today. We had some areas in Marshall County and Coleman County that were kind of plagued with showers for much of the day. Saturday, mostly morning to about one o'clock in the afternoon. We're still trying to get the timing down, but at some point in the afternoon Saturday, the rain will break and the weather looks perfect for Sunday. Here's your 10 day forecast. We're looking good again Friday and then again Sunday. Those are our most guaranteed nice days and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. In fact, much of next week, a big drying trend. So if you got a lot of outdoor plans, taking in a baseball game. The weather will be good then taking in a soccer game. Uh, weather looks pretty good too. First home soccer game in Huntsville is this Friday. I believe Carl was saying it's a four uh, four game homestand, something oh, like that. So fun. OK, Again, we're just learning about that. Uh, we'll be out there covering <laughs> that live Friday. Afternoon. Friday, yeah, soccer fans you can rejoice. But you were talking about those dry days next week. I still have planting to do. Yeah, I mean, I haven't even touched my yard. I've been working on tile and also everything of else <laughs> inside. But uh, yeah, I, I hope to tackle the yard here soon enough. Oh, by the way, both Brad and I have not had lane cake before, so we'll yeah. take donations yeah. if you if you have a good recipe out there. It's right. bourbon filled and uh, has raisins. Well, now you've got my attention. <laughs> okay.